This is David Petrosky. I'm a California attorney representing the needs of landlords. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the changes to the LA County eviction moratorium as a result of California AB 2179. These changes have to do with non-payment of rent for the time period between April 2022 and June 2022. First, a disclaimer. These rules are really open to interpretation and are subject to change. This video may not be updated to reflect the most current rules. Each case is different and no legal advice is hereby given, and you should contact your own legal counsel before deciding on a course of action. I've been representing landlords since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for realtors, landlords, and other attorneys. Now let's talk about the LA County Eviction Moratorium and how AB 2179 changed the self-certification rules between the dates of April 2022 and June 2022. For properties that are subject to the LA County Eviction Moratorium, the county self-certification rules have been preempted by state law 2179 until July 1st, 2022. This means that from April 2022, through June of 2022, landlords who fall within the jurisdiction of the LA County Eviction Moratorium should follow the state rules for non-payment of rent cases. Now I want to re-emphasize this because not all properties in LA County are subject to the LA County Eviction Moratorium. One example is rental properties in LA City are subject to the LA City eviction moratorium and that's different from the LA County eviction moratorium. So you need to make sure, number one, that your property is in fact subject to the LA County eviction moratorium. And if it is, then you'll want to follow the state non-payment of rent rules between April 2022 and June 2022. The self-certification rule for non-payment of rent cases in LA County will most likely take effect in July of 2022 because that's when AB 2179 rules are going to go away, but who knows what LA County and the Board of Supervisors are going to do between now and July. And it's not crystal clear if the county uh, or if judges in LA County will agree that the self-certification rule doesn't apply between April 2022 and June of 2022. So landlords really want to exercise caution if they do decide to pursue a non-payment of rent case in properties uh, that are subject to the LA County eviction moratorium, because if uh, for some reason or another, the court uh, decides that the self-certification rules do apply and rules in the defendant's favor, there is a uh, liability there to the landlord. But when you go onto the county website that talks about evictions, and this was pulled off of the county website on April 12, 2022, you'll see there in the uh, banner that it says AB 2179 extends state protections through June 30th only for people who have applied for emergency rental assistance. And it also says that if you are subject to LA County eviction moratorium, you must pay the April rent beginning April 1st. And you'll see there that it doesn't say anything about a self-certification requirement. Now, for any other type of case that doesn't have to do with non-payment of rent, the LA County eviction moratorium is still going to apply even between April 2022 and June of 2022. Namely, those types of evictions limit the ability to remove a tenant for most no-fault reasons, so you'll still want to pay close attention to the LA County eviction moratorium if your property falls under the jurisdiction of that moratorium. Now, LA City has their own eviction moratorium. Even though LA City is in LA County, if your rental property is in the city of Los Angeles, landlords are still out of luck for non-payment of rent cases, and that will be the topic of a different video that you can look up on this channel. But uh, bottom line is, if your property is in LA City, you have to follow the city moratorium. And as a reminder, the rules discussed in this video apply only in those parts of LA County where the rental property would otherwise be subject to the LA County eviction moratorium. 
Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll receive updates when we post new videos. You can also visit our website, attorneydavid.com. On that website, we publish many articles uh, that discuss evictions and landlord-tenant best practices. We write those articles uh, fairly regularly on the blog. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you are a landlord and want more information about a possible eviction or what you can or cannot do, go on to our website, attorneydavid.com, and you can schedule a paid informational phone call with us. Thank you so much.